Hello, this is Poonam, technical support expert for Palicon. In our earlier video, we had seen how to package a content using Palicon CLI Packager. In this video, I'll walk you through the process for packaging a VOD content using AWS Elemental Media Convert Service. Palicon MultiDRM is pre-integrated with AWS Elemental Media Services via the Speaky API. Detailed steps for the integration is provided on our documentation page. Let's start creating a packaging job on the AWS Elemental Media Convert Service. You need to provide the path of the input video stored on your S3. Then click the Add button here to select the output groups as per your requirement. That is Apple HLS for the HLS output, Dash ISO for the Dash output and CMAF for the CMAF output. Two output groups that is the HLS and Dash can be added in the same Media Convert job. Then provide any unique custom group name and update the destination path of your S3 location where you want the output files to be stored. Then enable the DRM encryption using this toggle button here. This section is the most important section since we specify all the DRM related settings here. The resource ID is any unique ID that can be provided for packaging the content. This value will be used as the content ID while requesting a license during the playback. The system ID is DRM specific value specified for each DRM. Since this output group is for Dash, we will provide the system IDs for Widevine and for PlayReady. Next is the key provided URL. You need to provide the KMS URL for Palicon with the KMS token value for your account appended at the end of the URL. You can find this KMS token value on your Palicon console. As per requirement for Widevine, the video and the audio output in the output groups are separated. Set the encoding options for the audio and video output groups as per your requirement. Here we have selected the AAC and AVC default settings to ensure maximum device compatibility. Similarly, configure the output group for Apple HLS as well. Provide the destination path where you want the output to be stored. Enable the DRM encryption and the encryption type here would be sample AES. The key provider type would be speaky. The resource ID would be any unique identifier. The system ID here would be the system ID for Fairplay DRM. Then update the key provider URL over here. In the output groups, select the respective presets. Lastly, we need to add an IAM role for this job in the AWS integration section. Here, select use an existing service role and provide the ARN for the IAM role. This IAM role should be created with the name as Media Convert and full access should be provided for S3 and the API Gateway. Now that we are done with all the required configurations, we will click this Create button here to start the Media Convert job. Once the job is completed successfully, you can check the output files on the specified S3 location. Respective packaging records can be viewed on the Palicom console as well. These can be streamed directly from the S3 or via the CDN as per the business requirement. And as guided in our previous videos for license generation and the playback, you can request a license and test the playback for this DRM encrypted content. Please check out our next video for more information on packaging a live stream using AWS Elemental Media Packet Service.